very opportunate that I have gotten this opportunity to present the topic manage allergic rhinitis effectively with Revaldar Opus. And I'm very thankful to the BGN RX and BGN publication for giving me this opportunity to present this topic in front of you all. So let's begin with the introduction. A symptomatic disorder of nose induced by an IgE mediated inflammation after allergen exposure associated with episodic attacks of sneezing, watery rhinorrhea and watering of the eyes may also present with tightness of chest due to subclinical bronchospasm. So basically the word rhinitis refer to inflammation of the nasal passages. This inflammation can cause a variety of annoying symptoms including sneezing, itching, nasal congestion, runny nose and post nasal drip. So allergic rhinitis is a symptomatic disorder of the nose induced by uh, allergen exposure due to an IgE mediated inflammation of membranes lining of nose. It is clinically defined as symptomatic condition with four major symptoms uh, such as interior or posterior rhinorrhea, sneezing, nasal itching and nasal congestion. Now I'm going to the next slide that is etiology. So the etiology, the allergic rhinitis is the commonest chronic disease. Its causation is multifactorial, manifestation is multifocal. The symptoms of patient and type of allergy depend on the number of factors. Allergens are the casual substance of allergic rhinitis. They are capable for producing the body, produce IgE antibodies. Uh, so allergic rhinitis is, is a global health problem also with considerable economic and societal burden. About 40% of the world population is atopic and allergic rhinitis is a commonest of preservation of this atopic tendency. The reported incidence of allergic rhinitis in the western countries is 1.4 to 39%. Now the next slide. Factors may be classified as the factors which affect the allergic rhinitis are precipitating factor and predisposing factors. So the first one is precipitating factors. Aerobiological flora. This is determined by the allergen present in that environment of which inhalant allergen is more common. The nasal physiology is altered nasal cycle. Now the predisposing factors, heredity, multiple gene interaction are responsible for allergic phenotype, gene of chromosomes 5, 6, 11, 12 and 14, seems to control inflammatory process in atopy. A family history of similar or allied complaints is common. Endocrine, pubertal, marital, natal, menopausal condition have the potential to influence the nose significantly. Now the other factors are physical changes in humidity, temperature, pollution of air can contribute to the development of allergic rhinitis. Living condition like residential and workplace condition also play an act. Age and sexes, it affects all the ages, both the sexes, industrialization and urbanization, IgA deficiency. So the allergic rhinitis symptoms result in sleep disturbance, fatigue, depressed mood, cognitive function compromises that impairs quality of life and productivity. Uh, there may be associated conjunctivitis can also be seen. The post nasal drips, ocean tube dysfunction, otitis media, sinusitis and in children uh, dental men occlusion and facial deformities can also be seen. Now the next slide is common allergens, pollens like amaranthus, cassia, prosopis, ricinus, albizia, panthenium and artemisia. Molds like such as the commonest fungal spore in India are cladosporium, panicillium, trichoderma etc. Insects like uh, bed bugs, cockroaches, house flies, mosquitoes, fleas, etc. Uh, in animals like pets, like cat and dog, also from horse, rabbit, genuipix, monkeys, and mice. Dust mites such as dermatophagocytes can sanitize people. 
Ingestants like egg, strawberries, nuts, fish, citrus fruits and nuts also seem common allergens. So allergic rhinitis is a respiratory disorder characterized by an inflammation of nasal mucous membrane caused by an IgE mediated immune response consisting of an early acute response due to uh, degranulation of mast cells and a delayed prolonged response in which there is infiltration by leukocytes such as eosinophils, basophils, neutrophils and magophages accompanied with edema. I'm going to the next slide that is the classification. So basically on the basis of timing and duration of allergen exposure uh, and thus the allergen pathogenesis, the allergic rhinitis is uh, classified as seasonal and perennial. Overall approximately 20% of all cases are strictly seasonal, 40% are perennial and 40% mixed where perennial with seasonal exacerbation. So the first one is seasonal. In seasonal hay fever, uh, it is a misnomer because neither it is caused by hay nor it produces fever. In summer cold, should not be confused with acute rhinitis that is caused by virus and not by allergens. Rose fever, it is also a misnomer because colorful or fragrant flowering plant rarely cause allergy as their pollens are too heavy to be airborne. So in a seasonal allergic rhinitis, the tree, grass, wheat, pollens, outdoor molds, spores are common seasonal allergens. The symptoms typically appear during a defined season in which aeroallergens are abundant in the outdoor air. The length of seasonal exposure to these allergens is dependent on geographical locations. Uh, so therefore, uh, fam Familiarity with the pollinating season of the major trees, uh, grasses, weeds of the local makes the syndrome easier to diagnose. Like certain outdoor mold spores also display seasonal variation, the highest level in the summer and fall months. The typical symptoms uh, during pollen exposure include the explosive onset of profuse watery rhinorrhea, itching, and sneezing along with frequent allergic symptoms of the eyes. It is very important. Um, the next is congestion also occur but usually is not the most troubling symptom. The onset and offset of symptoms usually track the seasonal pollen counts. However, the uh, hypersense responsiveness to irritant triggers which trouble from the inflammatory reaction of the late phase and priming responses often persist after cessation of the pollen season. Such triggers include, uh, this is very important, tobacco smoke, noxious odors, changes in temperature and exercise. Now the next slide is perennial. In perennial allergic rhinitis caused by allergen that are present throughout the year include animal dander, cosmetic molds, food and other pets. The year uh, round exposure to dust mite, cockroaches, indoor molds, cat dogs and other denders uh, leads to persistent tissue edema and infiltration with eosinophil mast cells, TH2 lymphocytes and macrophages. A universal accepted uh, definition of perennial rhinitis does not exist basically. Most often it is defined as a disease that persists for longer than nine months each year and produce two or more of the following symptoms, serous and seromucous hypersecretion uh, nasal blockage caused by swelling uh, nasal mucosa or sneezing paroxysms. The next is nasal congestion and mucus production that is post nasal drip. As we all know that the symptoms uh, predominate in most patients and sneezing, itching, watery rhinorrhea may be minimal. Now the next slide, I'm going to the next slide. That is clinical features. Diagnostic symptoms include the following like nasal pruritus, perioxim of sneezing, rhinorrhea, pale bluish edematous nasal mucosa, Bulky edematous turbinate with bluish purple ting of the mucosa. Mucosa coated with clear and mucoid secretion, thickening of the nasal septums. 
so uh, as we all know that the allergic rhinitis is also known as hay fever so a hay fever is an allergic reaction to pollen pollen comes from the flowering trees grass weeds uh, if you are allergic to pollen you will notice your symptoms are worse on hot dry days when winds carries a pollen on rainy days pollen often is washed to the ground which mean you are less likely to breathe it your allergies can vary depending on the time of year so allergy that uh, occur in the spring are often due to tree pollens allergic that occur in the summer are often due to grass and wheat pollens allergy that occur in the fall are often due to ragweeds now the next slide i'm going to is classical signs the sign and symptoms basically so the first one is nasal stuffiness congestion sneezing and runny nose itchy nose throat and eyes headaches sinus pain dark circles under the eyes increased mucus in the nose and throat fatigue and malaise like uh, general feeling of discomfort sore throat from mucus dripping down the throat that is post nasal drip wheezing and coughing and troubling breath so symptoms of allergic rhinitis vary from person to person uh, we all know that although the term rhinitis refer only the nasal symptoms many people also have symptoms that affect the eyes throat and ears sleep may be disrupted as well symptoms may include the following uh so basically nose the watery nasal discharge can be seen blocked nasal passages sneezing nasal itching post nasal drip loss of taste facial pressures or pain in eyes uh, we can see itchy red eyes a feeling of greetiness in the eyes swelling and dark discoloration of the skin below the eyes um next one is throat and ears in throat and ears uh, we can see sore throat hoarse voice congestion or popping of the itching ear in itching in the throat or ears in sleep uh, basically we can see the mouth breathing frequent awaking daytime fatigue trouble doing normal activities so basically with perennial allergic rhinitis the predominant symptom include post nasal drip persistent nasal congestion and trouble sleeping now at the last i would like to discuss little about the risk factor of allergic rhinitis the risk factors for allergic rhinitis include the following the presence of other allergic diseases such as asthma and edema parental rhinitis allergic sanitization to common household aero allergens obesity and being overweight elevated exhaled nitric oxide high total serum ige exposure to parental smoking exposure to pets genetic disk predisposition exposure to fossil fuel and traffic related pollutants so this was all about allergic rhinitis from my part now i'm going to discuss a case with you all i'm going to the next slide uh, so a male patient of age 26 year reported at my clinic with the complaint of cold sneezing lacrimation and watery nasal discharge since last 4 months the sneezing starts suddenly 10 to 15 in a row and it is aggravated in morning dust mite cold drinks change of weather the warm drinks relieve for some times during this he had profuse watery nasal discharge with itching of nose and profuse lacrimation with burning and redness of eyes now the history of present illness of my patient is patient was apparently well 2 years back but his complaint started when he went to village with his friends and he took bath in pond for 4 um, to 5 hours after that he start feeling difficulty in breathing along with frequent sneezing and nasal discharge now i'm going to the next slide 
Now the past history of my patient, he had a past medical history of pulmonary tuberculosis, a four year back and no other history of past illness. In family history, father died of diabetes and BP and mother has hypertension. Now the mental journals of my patient is, the patient said, only thing that was bothering him is not getting relief in spite of taking medicines. Fastidious in nature, he gets irritated easily since the complaint started. Become angry on seeing mess in the room, wants everything neat and clean. Now the physical journals of my patient, the thermal reaction, my patient is chilly, appetite, he has good appetite, taste, uh, he has uh, sweet food, uh, he has a craving for sweet food, digestion, weak, full of, full on eating, small amount, thirst, he become thirsty so often and drink three to three and a half liter of water in a day, uh, then urine is normal, micturation, sleep, disturb sleep, the patient did not feel refreshed in morning, dreams, uh, basically not specific. Uh, so on auscultation, the wheezing sound heard over both sides of lungs. Uh, body temperature was 98 degree Fahrenheit. The blood pressure is 130 by 80 mm of Hg. And pulse rate were 82 beats per minute respectively. So uh, on local examination, we can see swollen nasal turbinates, redness and congestion of nose and throat and redness of eyes. So the analysis of my case is after case taking, uh, all mental, physical, journals and particular symptoms were classified, analyzed and each symptom evaluated as per their merit. Among mental symptoms, anxiety, irritable, fastidious, physical, journals, unquenchable, thirst, uh, disturbed sleeps were taken for constructing the totality. Among particular, sneezing, like cold aggravation, morning aggravation, dust aggravation, burning eyes, redness of eyes, nasal itching were considered in the totality. So thank you so much for staying with us. We will starting the presentation and training. How can we repertorize this case with the help of radar opus? So I will be sharing my screen to all of you. So this is Dr. Shivangi and I will be demonstrating you all about how you can get started with radar opus and how can we repertorize the case. And one thing more, before I start, let me explain to our viewers how this interface works. On the right side panel of your screen, you have a sh short chat box. You may type your question or whatever message you have right there. Press button next to it to send it to us. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen with you. Then you'll be able to see the software on your screen. So whenever you open your radar opus software, you will be able to see your screen in this way. Synthesis treasure is by default open. These icons are known as icon bar or toolbar. Now first I am going to tell you about these five primary icons which are present on the left side of this vertical line. They are known as primary icons, consist of repertories, references, patient management, remedies and families. So basically for repertorization, first I am going to the repertories icon. After clicking on this icon, all the list of repertories will open in front of you. So whatever repertory you want to open, just scroll from this list. Else you can type the name of the repertory in the search bar. So today I'm going to do my repertorization from Synthesis Adonis. It is a successor version of Synthesis Treasure. The number of remedies and rubric has been increased in this repertory. So after clicking on this Synthesis Adonis, you can see here my Synthesis Adonis have opened on my main display screen. So for doing repertorization from this repertory, I will be needing few icons. The first icon is this binocular find rubric. After clicking on this icon, this navigation window will appear on your screen. Um, with all the chapters that are present in this particular repertory. So for today's repertorization, the first symptom of my patient is, my patient is having anxiety about his health. So anxiety is a mental symptom. First I'm going to the mind chapter, mind. Now I'm going to type here anxiety, health about.
Now my rubric is here from mind chapter. Anxiety is my rubric. Health about is my sub rubric. Now we are having multiple clipboards here. They are just like our repertorial sheet. For repertorization, you have to add your rubric into this clipboard, and it will automatically get repertorized. So for adding any rubric into the clipboard, we have three method. The first method is dragging and dropping. I'm going to add this rubric. in my clipboard with the help of my first method that is dragging and dropping with the help of your cursor you can drag it and drop it the next two method i'm going to tell tell you with my two subsequent rubrics now the next symptom of my patient is my patient is uh, irritable all the time with the complaints of this uh, nasal discharges with the complaint of uh, this rhinitis so irritability is also a mental symptom i'm going to the mind chapter mind irritability nose with complaints of now my rubric is here from mind chapter irritability is my rubric nose with complaints of is my sub rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with my second method and my second method is plus key on my keyboard the plus button on your keyboard with the help of this button you can add your rubric into the clipboard so you can see here as soon as i click on this plus button my rubric has been added here now the next symptom of my patient is my patient is fastidious in nature so fastidious is also a mental symptom for that i'm going to the mind chapter and i'm typing here fastidious now my rubric is here oh, okay wait a moment fastidious Now my rubric is here from mind chapter. My patient is fastidious. So fastidious is my rubric. Now I'm going to add this third rubric into the clipboard with the help of my third method. And my third method is this icon. Take the current rubric icon. After clicking on this icon, you can see here my rubric has been added into this clipboard. Okay. Now the next symptom. My patient is having unquenchable thirst. So for unquenchable thirst, I'm going to the stomach chapter. stomach thirst unquenchable it's already mentioned here so i click on it now you can see here from stomach chapter my rubric is here thirst unquenchable now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of my first method as i told you my first method is dragging and dropping so i simply drag it and drop it Now the next symptom of my patient is my patient is having disturbed sleep, having the problem of disturbed sleep. Ah, uh, he cannot get the full ah uh, sleep or he cannot uh, get full relief, so he cannot feel refreshed basically. So for disturbed sleep, I'm going to the sleep chapter. I'm going to type here disturbed. Now my rubric is here from sleep chapter disturbed. Now I'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of my second method. And my second method is plus key on my keyboard. Now you can see here after pressing my plus button, my rubric has been added into this clipboard. Now the next symptom. My patient is my patient is having the problem of avoid. Uh, silent sneezing so for sneezing i'm going to the nose chapter nose sneezing violent now my rubric is here from nose chapter sneezing violent now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of third method and my third method is this icon take the current rubric icon after clicking on this icon you can see here my rubric has been added into my clipboard 
Now the next symptom of my patient is my patient is having uh, frequent sneezing or having aggravation in sneezing uh, during morning time. So for sneezing aggravation uh, for morning aggravation in sneezing, I'm going to the nose chapter again. morning now my rubric is here from uh, nose chapter sneezing morning aggravation now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of first method dragging and dropping the next symptom of my patient is my patient is having frequent sneezing also having the problem of frequent sneezing now i'm going to the nose chapter again <laughs> nose sneezing frequent my rubric is here from nose chapter sneezing frequent this is a complaint of my patient i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of my second method and my second method is plus button on my keyboard as soon as i click on it you can see here my rubric has been added Now the next symptom of my patient is my patient is having aggravation in sneezing in whenever um, he uh, get affected uh, from changes in weather. From changes in weather, he uh, has aggravation in sneezing. So I'm going to the nose chapter again. Nose sneezing. weather changeable now this is my rubric from nose chapter sneezing is my rubric weather changeable are my sub rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of third method and my third method is this icon take the current rubric icon after clicking on this icon you can see here my rubric has been added into the clipboard my patient is having the last symptom of my patient is my patient is having the coryza uh, with lacrimation also having the problem of lacrimation during coryza so for uh, this coryza i'm going to the nose chapter again nose coryza <coughs> lacrimation with now this is my rubric from nose chapter coryza lacrimation with now i'm going to add this rubric last rubric into the clipboard with the help of my first method that is dragging and dropping no so for analysis uh, for repertorization i'm going to my this clipboard after clicking on this clipboard you will get your repertorization your analysis you will get your chapters rubrics sub rubrics and here you will get your probable remedies so uh, arsenic album is the highest grading remedy among all this probable remedy list. Arsenic album covers 10 rubrics from this list. And the total of these is 21. If you um, plus all these like 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2, it's 21. The Nux Vomica covers 8 rubric out of 9 out of 10 sorry and the total is 13 the natrium york covers eight rubrics out of 10 the total is 12 so if you want to read any of the remedy from your probable remedy list just double click on it and your remedy will open on a main display screen like this with the multimedia image of their plant now i'm going back to my analysis uh, suppose if you want to read natrium york from this probable remedy list so just double click on it again now my netrum or would open on my main display screen so in the same manner you can read any of your remedy from your probable remedy list no need to go to this references or remedies icon now i'm going back to my analysis now at the last now i'm going to save my analysis so for that i'm going to the analysis icon this drop down next to this analysis icon save current analysis now the my patient name is ramesh Sharma. Now my analysis has been saved with Ramesh Sharma name. So you can uh, save your analysis in this way. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going back to my slide. So here, arsenic album is the highest grading remedy. Uh, let me stop this presentation. Now, in prescription, the medicine I have prescribed is arsenic album, 203 doses, 8 hourly, followed by placebo, PL, 3 pills, that is TDS, in 7 days were, was prescribed on first visit, considering the repertorial totality. So, I have given some journal management to my patient, like reduce dust and dust mites in the home, control molds indoor and out, outdoors, avoid exposure to plants like pollens and animals. So, in the next visit, in the second follow-up, you can see here the sneezing reduced, like in five or six row. Nasal discharge reduced with slight burning and lacrimation. Nasal itching increased in this time. Sleep sound, irritability reduced to marked extent. On examination, the congestion reduced. In the chest of the patient, uh, the congestion is reduced. I have prescribed arsenic album 200 single dose state orally with placebo 4 pills BD for 10 days. Now the management this time I have given to my patient is like along with medicine counseling was also done to calm the mental irritability and other symptoms of my patient. Now in the third follow-up, in the final visit, the sneezing reduced further one or two row with slight nasal discharge, no nasal, no nasal itching this time, no burning of eyes and lacrimation can be seen, no irritability on examination, no congestion, no redness of eyes. So this time I have prescribed placebo BD for 10 days to my patient. So this was all about allergic rhinitis and how we can repertorize case with the help of synthesis Adonis radar opus software from my part. So all right now I would like to request all our viewers to comment in the chat box. with their questions now. We will begin the question answer session. So the first question a learner wants to know is allergic rhinitis ever cause of other problem? Uh, basically, uh, yes, some known complications include ear infection, sinusitis, recurrent sore throat, cough, headache, fatigue, irritability, um, altered sleep pattern and poor school performance. Occasionally, the children may develop altered facial growth and orthodontics problems. Allergy treatment can eliminate or elevate most of these problems. So uh, you can see, you can say the allergic rhinitis uh, can be caused from other problems. Now I'm going to take the next question from the viewer side is. Who might get allergic rhinitis? Uh, basically, uh, this question is like um, allergic rhinitis affect approximately 20% of people of all ages. The risk of developing allergic rhinitis is much higher in people with asthma and eczema and people who have family history of asthma and allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis can begin at any age. Although most people first develop symptoms in childhood or young adulthood, so the symptoms are often more severe in children and in people in their 30s and 40s. However, the severity of symptoms uh, tend to vary throughout a person's life. Some people go through periods during which they have no symptoms at all. Okay. 
the another question from a viewer side is what are the triggers of allergic rhinitis yes the outdoor allergens such as pollens from trees grass weeds and mold spores indoor allergens such as pet hairs or dander's dust mites and molds irritants irritants like uh, cigarette smoke perfume diesel exhaust ants these are the tr triggers of allergic rhinitis basically okay now now i'm going to take the next question from a viewer side is what can influence the severity of allergy season okay uh basically weather can influence the timing and severity of the allergy season a mild winter often leads to a more severe pollen season the grass season varies the most if spring is warmer and uh, wetter than usual then more grass grow which leads to a more severe season during the late spring and summer however the rain can have benefit as well for instance rain can wash pollen uh, that has already been released out in the air okay so the last question i think we have almost taken up all the questions to let's take the last question from a viewer side is what are the symptoms of non allergic rhinitis a uh, viewer want to know uh, symptoms of non allergic rhinitis uh, for most people the symptom of non allergic rhinitis include post nasal drip runny or stuffy nose sneezing diminished sense of smell uh, rarely non allergic rhinitis cause a few smelling crust to a uh, form inside the nose the interior nasal tissue may bleed when you attempt to remove the crust so these are the symptoms of non allergic rhinitis